Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this MS500 Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about security strategies and principles. After this lesson, you would be able to describe an organizational threat protection mindset, explain how to apply security strategy principle to secure your environment, and you would be able to develop simulated attacks to train your security administrators and operations teams. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what is Microsoft security principles? Microsoft principle for strategic security include an, an effective defense requires you to dramatically increase the cost to the attacker. Assume your identities are always under attack. Apply attack graph thinking. Defense in depth is critical. And protect, detect and respond all the time. And above all, assume compromise all the time. And how can we measure security success? Security return on investment or, or SROI is difficult to calculate because both components of risk are difficult to measure. The first one is impact. Many of the outcomes are unknown and difficult to measure. For example, which competitive product have benefited from intelligence stolen from your environment? And likelihood. This is driven by uncertainty influenced by adaptive or reactive human attacker decisions. That is, they are not random. So then what is defender investment? Defender investment consists of security budget, which is the cost of purchasing technology and hiring people and the time and attention of the team members. And what is defender return? Defender return is composed of your ability to reduce the attacker's return of investment, which discourages attackers, encouraging them to move on to the easier target and thereby reducing the frequency of attacks. Reduce the business impact of any attack on your organization. And what is attacker's ROI? So what is attacker's return? Attacker's return is the success rate of attacks and therefore largely out of the control of individual defenders. An attacker's investment is the best opportunity for a defender to affect return of investment by adopting a strategy of defeating the cheapest attack mechanisms you force an attacker to spend more money, time and resource to successfully attack you. Let's understand the defender's dilemma. The oldest dilemma facing defenders as the defender you have to be right every time, everywhere and forever. An attacker just have to be right once. When you look at the technology stack, there is a spectrum of assets ranging from commodity assets with low intrinsic value to the organization, all the way up to the assets with unique value like data, user accounts and devices and applications. Security is difficult because we never have enough resources to secure all the assets. This reality results in a lot of security projects remaining in the backlog. At the same time, attackers have at their disposal numerous effective techniques that range from exploiting unpatched firmware, operating systems and apps to configuring weaknesses to human errors by users and administrators. The first advantage of the cloud is that it allows you to transfer day-to-day -day responsibility for many layers of the stack to the cloud provider. So constant connectivity and resource tracking improvements of cloud technologies let you do more with less resources. And the cloud also make threat detection more effective since the cloud stores and processes massive number of events and other threat signals. Administrators can use context and machine learning to separate the signal from the noise. And how can you raise the attacker's cost? Your focus as a defender should be to undermine the attacker's model by raising the cost of the attack. This shifts the current paradigm from a defender dilemma to an attacker dilemma. You must defend against the cheapest attack techniques first. Blocking the cheap attack raises the cost to attack your environment. You must also have good detection and response processes and capabilities. These both limit the time attackers have to conduct attacks and the freedom to explore while they are there. These capabilities will also quickly raise the cost 
to attack your environment. Once you have solid detection and response in place against known attacks, you can start to defend against potential and future attacks. This is not a luxury most organizations can afford. With Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection, you can use Attack Simulator to run realistic attack scenarios in your organization. This can help you identify and find vulnerable users before a real attack impacts your bottom lines. The more you are able to prevent easy attacks, the more expensive it becomes for attackers. Alright, so that concludes the episode on security strategy and principles. In the next video, we're going to learn about Microsoft security solution. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.